Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get Darren Waller for completely free. And by the way, this card is auctionable and he's one of the best pass catchers in the game right now. So first things first, here is Darren Waller, one of the best pass catchers in this game. He's probably the best tight end in the game, and he's probably a top five receiver in the game as well. That's how good this card is at six foot six with 86 speed, 87 acceleration, and that 90 mid route running is super, super nice. However, the one issue with this card is that he will not be able to get slot apprentice. So if you wanna play Matt Receiver, you really can't do that, but he does get mid out and mid in as well, which could be good if you're putting him on corner routes, or if you have corner routes that you can put him on. If you're playing more at tight end, more traditionally, this will be pretty good for that but uh yeah him not getting him not getting a slot apprentice but him he does get outside though outside he does get but i mean, I guess he, he's actually a pretty good deep threat his speed's <laughs> pretty top tier i know we have some 88 speed guys but our fastest receivers right now are 87 speed so yeah this is this is a very solid card at 86 speed with six foot six and so now you're probably thinking to yourself yeah this card is great but how do i get my hands on him and how you're going to want to do this is go to head to head and right now it's actually not working but it does work the same as the season. I, I click it, it says the event's not available. This is probably because my lineup isn't set. So you're gonna see right here, it says UK ultimate kickoff showdown placements, a lineup restricted. This is kind of like Madden's take on events. Like I don't know, MLB The Show has it. I think 2K has it where they give you lineup restrictions in order to play in this game mode. And how it's gonna work, it's gonna work the same as a regular season of head to head. And you have to go through it all and win the Super Bowl. And that's how you get Darren Waller. This card is auctionable, so if you get it done pretty early, he'll go for a pretty penny. And also, you can just repeat this. So if you're a no-money-spend player and you're nice at the game, you can just continue to do this probably, I would say, three to four times. You can probably do it in the 10-day or in the 14-day span, um, it, depending on how good you are. I'm going to try to do this a couple times. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you can do this as many times as you'd like. The card's auctionable every single time. So even if you, you know, feel like you, you know, you're not good enough to win the Super Bowl, and get the Darren Waller card, you'll still have a chance at getting him, which is a big W for EA. Um, not making this card end cap. I think it's a big W. Uh, but um, you see right here, the lineup is restricted. What you need is six plus ultimate kickoff players, 10 or less gold tier players, no silver players, and an active overall or of 81 or lower. Okay, so you guys do see that there's the gold tier players, and I'll show you some of my favorite gold tier players in the game. Um, this is easy to find. You just go on mud.gg, sort by speed, and you'll see some decent guys. If you need some fillers, um, some of these gold cards will be nice to have. Uh, 80, 85 speed Caleb Farley. And I do think the game mode's going to be a little bit more evenly matched teams, especially between, you know, if you've just kind of got the game and you're kind of getting into it. Um, it should be a little more evenly matched. However, there is a pretty big loophole that I will talk about in a second. But uh, yeah, you're going to see right here. Here's some good gold players. I talked about them in the Budget Beast video the other day. But there's some good, you know, there's some decently speed, more in the secondary than anything else. But there's some decently speed uh, gold players in the game. Keep in mind, you can only use 10 of these guys, but there are some good guys. I like Jamison Williams a lot. I mean, there's more guys up here. Um, A.T. Perry is kind of a slept on card. 79 overall, but the man 6'5", with 84 speed, which is very, very nice, obviously. Um, but yeah, there, there are some options. And also, I want to look through if there's any good UK gold cards. I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so I'm down here looking at these UK cards, and there really isn't... <laughs> Anyone that's worth using down here, even in the 76 range, we got 79 speed there, which is absolutely egregious. Um, and maybe, maybe Rojo, maybe Rojo, Cowboy Legend. Yeah, nope. Yeah, these cards, they made them, I think, purposely bad because I guess they made them purposely bad because there's not a, really any good budget card here that's a gold, which is surprising, especially after what, what happened with Campus Heroes and that whole drop was crazy. But I hear all the gold cards down here, nothing again really worth using. And you have some of your lower elites. Um, like we didn't see Nathan Shepard yesterday. Um, we saw some of these guys yesterday, but yeah, th these are like th like this promo. It was a bit of a miss in my opinion. Um, so if you are going to be using UK guys, uh, you know, like maybe Stefan Gilmore, if you want to use Juju or Javon Hargrave or Jawan Taylor, obviously those, those guys are higher overalls. And this is where I introduced to you guys the overall loophole, which it should be kind of common knowledge, but it might go past the casual the, you know the casual player's head or over the casual player's head or where people are going to be you know definitely exploiting this loophole 100 percent. if there's coins on the line people will be exploiting this so i'll just show you how to do it right now okay so pay attention to my overall i got an 84 overall team and once i swap bo jackson with michael carter look at the overall look what happens here so what this allows you to do 
is you can use UK cards, you know, the high overall guys to get through this promo. They'll double, you know, they'll kind of double up. You might honestly need to use a good amount of the UK cards, um, but my overall goes down to an 83 overall. So you can kind of fill the lineup with golds and cover up higher overall players. I do still think gold players are going to see the field. I don't think you can completely cover up, but, you know, if you cover up all your high overall cards or higher overall cards with gold players, um, it'll help you work down that overall. And also, you know, value positions that should be valued when it comes to building your team. Uh, me using 87 Taylor Decker, probably not smart. That's probably not something I should be doing. Um, and also, you know, playing cards out of position as well as another little loophole. Uh, here's here's another example. Dwayne Brown, 85 overall, put him at left guard. Still has the same stats. The same stats. Literally the exact same stats. They do not go down for playing a card out of position, unlike MLB The Show, where you get, you know, penalized for playing cards out of position. Here, Madden, that doesn't happen. Okay, as long as you can put them there, the you know the stats are gonna stay the same. And Dwayne Brown is who's an 85, who's an 85 overall card is now only a 77. Just super glitchy, and he's not considered a gold player as well, which is is also very very good. Um, you got you guys can kind of see how you can kind of get around the overall stuff. And now you're probably thinking, if you're a super new player, how do I get these guys into the game? If you want to, you could pause the game at the beginning and just go through and you know fix the depth chart up and do this every single game, which might be a little bit tedious, but Again, it's a major, major advantage. Um, also, the, obviously, this, obviously, this is going to work on defense as well. You know, I got Antonio Camardi. Um, I'll swap him with Cameron Sutton. I'm not sure if this will actually change my overall too much. Um, we'll swap him with Cameron Sutton, who's an 80 overall. I thought, yep, there we go. Is this going to work? We'll find out in a second. That does not work. Um, but you see what I mean? I still have Camardi in the lineup, but I'm really using an 80 overall player. Um, but, you know, eventually you'll be able to work down the lineup pretty well. And then also, you can use Specialist. If you don't know what this tab does, it basically allows you to... You know, this is, this is pretty popular when it comes to cheating, you know, cheating theme team camps and using, you know, player cheats. If you want, build a super low overall offense. Um, and then you can put like, you know, Bo Jackson um, in here. Um, that's going to bring down the overall. However, it, it won't, it, like, it'll, it'll still count towards your lineup restriction. So um, if you want to put a UK card in specialist as one of your six, you can do that. But it won't count towards your overall, which is super glitchy. And one more thing, if your overall, you feel like it's kind of staying up. It could be because of your kicker and punter, where there are some decent budget options in the game. I believe there's also an old kickoff kicker, I believe there is. I, I think I remember there being one. Um, you could use him. He's an 85, he's an 85 overall, so I probably wouldn't use him. Um, guys like Kate York have decent kick power for their overall punter who's punting. Just you know, just, just go for it on four, you know, to keep that overall down. Um, but those are a couple lineup building tips for this. Um, again, no silver, so you can't like, you know, I, I, I guess I would I would use like if you are gonna do this cheat use like 70 overall players try to get as many low golds as possible um because that'll bring down the overall a lot more than using a 76 michael carter for example um use the use the 70 overall guys and that's really all the tips i have for you um again play the super bowl you got you're gonna have to be decent at the game you know i'm not gonna lie i can't give you any tips for that you got to be good at the game in order to win a super bowl i know it's even harder dudes to do it when when it's not on all madden by the way yes it's an all madden game mode but it's normal rules it's normal rules um but yeah, hopefully this video can help you out a little bit um on the grind for darren waller and let me know down in the comment section are you just gonna be going out there and buying darren waller are you gonna try to do this grind? I think it's a worthy grind. If it was only like a one-time card that wasn't sellable, I would say it's, pr I mean, it's obviously still worth it because he's a good card, but the fact he's auctionable and you can make coin and, and you can do this over and over and over again. Uh, say you're a good player, you can win four Super Bowls and you get four Darren Wallers. Who knows what his price will go for? I wonder if anyone even has him yet. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious, but uh, like, probably not. It's probably not possible yet, but I, also I wonder if they shorten the season as well. I don't know if they shorten the season, um, there's a chance maybe they did. It might just be a standard head-to-head -head season, though. But let's see if there's any Darren Wallers up yet. And there probably isn't. There, there definitely is not. There's no way. But I'm gonna say, all I'm going to say is those first couple Darren Wallers will be very expensive. So if you want this card, hold off. Maybe wait a week. In a week, he'll be going for like, he'll be going for pretty cheap. He'll be, he'll be going for pretty cheap. A lot of people will eventually start grinding him out and selling him and making that coin. But if you, if you think you're good at the game, get on quick. Try to get, the, try to get one of the first Darren Wallers, sell him for an egregious price. You, you would have made a, you would have made crazy profit crazy crazy profit so yeah as always i'll see you boys in the next one drop a drop a comment down below if you have any other questions and as always i'll see you boys in the next one